Look, please, can we confirm the agenda? I mean, don't do that girl, but I just want to be. I'm more excited than scared. Low key, all of them done, they notice. I'm not joking, all my guys, them, them know me. Since 06, I've been writing this story. I know we OG, but if you ask them, them know me. Now they blow trees, all the lonely melody Music chose me, just know this and no peace I day okay, but I'm never lonely Sexy ladies, come on for me She's putting all our alpha cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one but she's somebody else in the making first She's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel Hey guys, what's up? So um, today is Tuesday. Today is Valentine's Day. And funny enough, I have an appointment today, like a doctor's appointment today. I remember on my like last appointment when I was given this appointment date, I just looked at the, the date and I smiled. <laughs> and my doctor was just looking at my face like, why is she smiling? I was like, like in my head, out of all the days, why on 14th, you know, February, but yeah. I'm on my way to the hospital for my appointment and I can't believe it's like getting closer and closer. I was telling my husband last night that, you know, when I was in my first trimester, it felt as if the days were not moving. But then after, because of course I was not, like I was sick throughout my first trimester. I was throwing up and all of that. I was just not feeling the best. But after the first trimester, like after the symptoms, you know, began to die down and all of that, it feels like the days are just moving like literally flying and so yeah i'm on my way for my appointment today is valentine's day um i really didn't plan anything huge for today like anything massive for today because obviously i knew i had a doctor's appointment today hubby is also working and so um all i have planned is like dinner at home i would i would make dinner for us and even the time he's closing he's closing very late today but we'll see how that goes i'll just make dinner for us have you know some quality time at home and yeah that would be how my vows day would be um what else actually that's all that's all i'll be up to today just go for my appointment from there i think i'll just go by amc mall to get you know some stuff for dinner tonight and guys i hadn't been cooking for a very long time because i couldn't stand the smell of like onion spices and all of that and so throughout my whole pregnancy i think i started cooking like maybe last month yeah throughout my whole pregnancy i think i started cooking like in um i think i started cooking in like um what's it called january yes because i just couldn't stand the smell of all of those things like it just it was just not doing it for me so yeah i'm glad i'm able to you know cook now and so yeah we'll make dinner later this yeah. evening it's quite unfortunate i can't drink it would have been a perfect time to you know have some wine and all of that but unfortunately i can't drink so yeah but i'll see if i can get you know some sweet non-alcoholic wine i remember there was this particular one hubby used to get i don't even know the name but i'll check to see if i can get like a sweet non-alcoholic wine I passed by so aesthetic like on my way because I use I always pass in front of their shop when I'm going to the hospital I passed by just to stock up on my foundation because I've run out of this so I passed by to pick up this I used their ultra coverage foundation in the shade Asantua and as always whenever I enter that shop 
I know what I'm going to get but then I end up getting like another item or maybe two or more items so yeah I ended up getting their uh, liquid liner as well um, this one it actually dries matte so yeah I ended up getting that as well so yeah that's just about it um, I'm almost at the hospital so from there I'll go to the mall and I'll keep you guys posted as always She's wondering if it's gonna feel like this forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is this some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Like someone's gonna respond I'm getting tired of myself Cause I don't know what I want But I'm not out here on my own Please, can we confirm the agenda? I mean, don't do that girl, but I just want to be <laughs> Think we lost all, but who will take the fall? Who will win it all? You know the cost Still we go through walls Keep on acting small Even if you got something left to lose Even if there is something left for you to prove I got bad taste of hanging around you to get this non-alcoholic martini it says it's alcohol free it's you know 0, 0.0 
so yeah that's what i got since i can't have wine or anything champagne so i got this martini i know guys quick one i actually got home to some roses and you know cake from hubby because when i got home he had already left for work Hey guys what's up um, I feel like I've not spoken to you guys in a while um, today is Friday I've not vlogged like the whole of this week I've just been taking it easy at home um, last week what did I get up to last week okay last week Thursday as you might have seen from you know earlier on actually Wednesday night before I went to bed I was like having I was feeling pains in my lower abdomen but I thought like you know it's just one of those things and because we are gradually getting closer and closer to our due date I also thought it could be what's it called Braxton Hicks and so I was like you know what let me just go to bed and see if like when I wake up the next morning if I'll still be in pain I woke up the next morning and the pain was still there but it was not like a continuous pain like it comes it goes like it was on and off sort of and so I was monitoring it and managing it until it was like um, five ish and I was like no this thing has been going on for for so long because I was expecting that it would die down or like I don't know it, the, the pain kept getting I would say it was getting worse but then it was still there and I didn't know what it was and because I really don't know how um, you know Braxton Hicks feels like I was like let me not risk it because it could be anything so I called my OB and I tried to you know describe to him how I was feeling like the pain and everything and he was like he would advise I come to the hospital for them to actually check it out because i was not really able to describe the pain to him like it was hard to describe how i was feeling and so yeah i thought you know what let me just go to the hospital for them to have like a proper check to know what's up so yeah 
Harvey took me to the hospital. They did a CTG scan and everything was okay. However, they gave me like that night I was given an injection for the pain and then they also gave me some some medicine to be taken from like you know the following day onwards and yeah that was it I got back home I think the pain was still there like when we go back after I took the injection but it was it was getting better and so Friday Friday when I woke up it was like way better and so yeah everything sorted out now and I finally took down my Christmas tree guys I don't even know what I was thinking it's like the end of February almost the end of uh, end of February actually and my Christmas tree was still up by it I finally took it down I remember a friend of ours came by to the house is it last week yeah last no last two weeks I don't remember when did she come yeah but she came over to the house and she saw the christmas tree still up and she was like guys it's almost easter and your christmas tree is still up i was like good guys I, I even don't know why like i kept postponing it and the initial plan was oh when we get back from dubai i'll take it down and i kept postponing 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 but yeah it's finally down and so yeah like i was saying today is friday um I'm out with Habi, he's running some errands and then we'll go do a little grocery shopping and then go back home. So that's what I'm up to today and we are 30, where are we now? 34 weeks now. I don't know if you guys can see my stomach but yeah, we are 34 weeks and we are gradually getting there. Funny enough, I... Like all my symptoms have actually died down to be fair just out of late like I just feel so tired low on energy and yeah I just feel you know heavy and my lower abdomen like my my bump I feel the bump getting heavier and bigger but aside that we are good so yeah we're gradually getting there and I'm so excited and I don't know I'm not I'm not scared I'm more excited than scared growing up one of the things like yeah I I've, I've always wanted kids I've always wanted children but then one of the things I was so scared of was you know the process of childbirth but funny enough now that I'm pregnant and it's getting you know closer and closer and closer and closer to my due date I'm not even worried about that like I I don't even pause for a second to think about I don't know but I'm not worried about it and I'm like I love that for me that I'm not worried about it I'm more excited looking forward to it than you know worrying about it so yeah uh, so yeah that's it with me I'll let you guys know how the rest of the day goes so yeah I'm just in the car waiting for Habi he's doing some bank rounds then off we go
I'm watching the rise And I wouldn't say I'm shocked cause I'm hardly surprised This one's for the ride This one's for who knew I'd make it, just needed some time This one's for my wife Could've left a thousand times just to by my side This one's for the grind I knew it would happen, just had the strength in my mind To the videos, they thought I was a black guy mm, It's hard to get over I'm falling in the spot, but I'm fully devoted I don't take it for granted that the door's been open I knew I was different, I knew I was chosen A breadwinner, but I'm soft-spoken Authentic like a 5950 and there's no cat Let's have a toast to that Let's have a toast for the real ones That you are well I hope your mark is out Every day I did pray for you Make you Baba God bless you I never forget you I go forget you See my shoulder Make you rest upon me You know I got you Now maybe a friend in me The money done Joe now I done give some for you You know go suffer Anything I get now for me and you, yeah, yeah. How are you, my friend? Hey guys, How what's up? You? So today I want to try and film one video that I have been postponing for quite some time now. Like guys, I've been postponing this video for only God knows how long. So I want to quickly, you know, do my makeup and try and get this video out of the way. At least like finish filming it today then i'll take my time to you know edit it later on and yeah that's what i would be up to today i think that's all i'll do today because charlie i don't even have the energy at this point here i really respect all like youtubers creators who still stay very consistent while I was pregnant because it's not easy like charlie it's not easy at all like you would make plants and your energy level would not even permit you to like to get those plants you know executed you would make plants and all of a sudden you are just tired you are lazy and all you want to do is sleep <laughs> all you want to do is sleep so if you don't like you know literally force yourself to get things done you'd end up you know wasting the whole day and that has been me for some time now like on on quite a number of days i just feel like you know let me just relax but yeah today i'll try and get this video out of the way and i think that would be it i would end this vlog here i guess unless if something else comes up but yeah i think i'll end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it well i've not done an outro in a very long time <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog don't forget to like comment subscribe you know all the good stuff already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye